What's going on guys? I am Pryoxys and I am back with another EA Sports UFC 4 tips, tricks, and tutorials video. In this video, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to deal with the clinch submissions and as well as how to deny all their transitions as they try to take your back or put you in a position to be guillotine choked. So, we're starting off here where your opponent wants to either try to guillotine choke you or with Brian Ortega, he can do a flying triangle. So, if you see your opponent trying to choke you, you just need to hold down the right trigger. As you see here, Brian Ortega is going to try... Oh, sorry. There we go. Now, Brian Ortega is going to try to either take the guillotine choke or do a flying triangle. And all you have to do is hold down the right trigger. I'll show you one more time. You just have to hold the right trigger. But if you hold down left trigger and right trigger, he will be able to advance into that position. Hold the knee. Now, here. Boom. Hold down right trigger. Deny it. Now, I'm going to show you if you do not deny it correctly and you're holding down both triggers, this is what will happen if he go for that position. Boom. See, you allowed it. Why? because you're holding down both triggers you need to only hold right trigger or r2 for playstation now once he gets you here there's not too much you can do as the defensive guy besides <laughs> just walk backwards your best thing is to do is just walk backwards and hope to get out of the submission because you cannot defend against the guillotine choke once you are there and just so you guys know this same thing applies to any position see there boom any position no matter what the clinch is if they try to submit you you want to be holding down right trigger now let's say he wants to try to do that flying triangle once he gets you here he can do a flying triangle but if you're holding down right trigger as he goes for it boom deny back to the feet now this is the one that everyone's having to a big problem dealing with and i'm going to help you guys out so, if your opponent gets you here, there's two things Brian Ortega can do. He can obviously take you down, or he can try to take your back. And a lot of these guys are just taking your back and looking for the backpack, drain your stamina, and re naked choke you. But if you pay close attention to the screen, Brian Ortega is on the right. So, if Brian Ortega flicks up, he'll go into trying to take your back. But if you're Frankie Edgar, if you match that same energy, <laughs> match that same energy, if you do exactly what he does, and as he goes up, right, if he flicks up, you'll need to flick up as well. Now, let's get into this position here. This is the one, probably the most broken when it comes to players, how they feel. It's not broken. It's actually kind of easy to deal with. Your opponent can do two things. Well, actually, he can do three. He can punch you. He can try to take your back, and he can take you down. Now, if your opponent tries to take your back, like so, you see in this position here, Brian Ortega is on the right side of the screen. So, if Brian Ortega flicks up, and I hold up as well as he tries to go for that back take. You'll see I deny it every time. Show you guys one more time. Brian Ortega is going to try to go up. Boom. I'm going to deny it. Now, this does vary and it can change depending on what stance your opponent gets you in. Let's say he's in the southpaw position. Now I'm going to clinch him and I'm going to go. See, now he's on the opposite side. But if he's on this side, Brian Ortega will need to flick down. And if you hold down, it will deny it there. Now, if Brian Ortega does get you into this position, again, there's two things he can do. He can take you down or he can jump your back if he decides to try to take you down you need to hold both triggers down if he wants to jump on your back you will just need to hold the right trigger or r2 down and you'll deny it every time as you see there boom denied not and denied easy now if he does get the back take jumps on your back there's not too much you can do here i highly recommend if you're the opponent getting getting a uh, back taken you just want to hit y x a or b and just allow him to take your back jump down like that that way your stamina does not get drained that is basically it guys to sum up this video and ma really make it easy for you to understand if your opponent tries to go for a submission you will need to hold down the right trigger to deny it again if your opponent goes for a any submission and the stand up or the clinch or on the cage you will need to hold down the right trigger in order to defend it and just so you guys know, I don't know if I got this earlier, but I'm going to make sure I get it now. If your opponent gets you into this position here, there is not much you can do defensively besides just walk back. With that being said, guys, I hope you did enjoy this tips and tutorials video. If you did, be sure to leave a thumbs up, comment what you guys think, and subscribe to the channel if you are new. I'm Pryoxys, man, and I'm out. Peace.